Now, Ruth, could you tell me when you were born? January the 31st, 1924. And where were you born? In Mequon, Manitoba. That's a, a rural area. And what were your parents' names? Helen Desma Crowder. Uh, the Desma stands because she was the 10th child. Anyway, and my dad was Arnold Frank Windus. Everybody in uh, Canada called him Frank, but Mum called him Arnold. And do you remember any of the stories that you, your parents told you about before you were born? They missed the ride on the Titanic, so, there came, so they got here. Perfect. They were supposed to come out on the Titanic. Yes. And it was kept delaying its departure, so they came on another boat. In England, he was in the bank. Uh, when he came to Canada, he went into farming. Uh, I don't know why the big switch. Maybe there wasn't any positions as a banker. I don't know. Yeah. Huh. Dad <clears throat> told about the mud being up to the wheels of the axles of the wagon as they went through Winnipeg. Uh, and then he had one story before I was born, but this was when he was on the farm, and it was before he was married even, that um, he apparently had had his palm read in uh, England. And the lady told him that uh, he was going to meet with a situation, that, an illness, and if he recuperated from that, he'd live a long life. Well, uh, he was out cutting wood and a green hornet cutting wood. The tree fell the wrong way. He could have reached out and touched the rump of the horse, and the tree fell in between him and the horse. Apparently on one occasion, there was such a bad storm that Dad had to, uh, now this might have been even before he was married, had to tie a rope to the handle of the door and, and walk where he thought the barn was. And then he would, the rope would help him to find his way back. Mm. That was quite a story, I thought. And were your parents very strict? No, not very, no. I, did, I got a few spankings. Um, and I should have gotten one, I guess, when I uh, played with fire in the basement. <laughs> I made sure I was right up against the cement citron, a cistern, and up against the brick. Fire, uh, chimney, but I ha I think I had a little can and I used to light it and let the, watch the flames. But I was very, very careful, but still it was playing with fire. How would they punish you? Well, in, th in that particular case, they didn't punish me at all. They just knew that I was, had, was bad, felt badly enough <laughs> for what I was doing.